I don't know. I think I'm uh, definitely at the point in my life and my musical career where I wanted to try something new and totally different than anything I'd done before. Um, things had been re feeling really stagnant, and um, I wanted to just do something totally spontaneous and organic and celebrate, in a way, um, the things that I love about music and the people in my life who feel the same way about music. An idea came to me to um, record an album that would, been, that would be completely spontaneous, live off the floor, um, bring in kind of my, my dream team of, of musicians and players to play on the album. And the idea was to not show the players any of the songs beforehand, but that we'd learn the songs on the spot and record them within a two-day period. Certain people, creative-minded people, artists can be extremely opinionated at times and really attached to their ideas. And I've never really thought of myself as, as that kind of person. I always really want to um, you know, be as open to suggestion as I can. I think it makes music stronger with the more heads you have involved. Pretty quickly in my mind, um, had a had a pretty strong idea of who I wanted to work with. Adam Sutherland being the one um, who kind of was the, the shepherd of the whole project by taking the producer role. A lot of how this, this record has turned out is, you know, a lot of respect to be paid to him. Um, Evan Middleton, uh, just, I've, I've only started playing with him recently, but he's just such a great feel player and every time I hear him play the drums, he just makes the drums sound so good. Adam and Antonia, who play in a band with, with him, from, and they're also in Jets Overhead, or just have become really good friends recently, and really um, amazing creative musical minds. Ted Gowans, um, he's just a master of, of sound, and also we, we started calling him Riff over the weekend, because every song he just come up with an amazing riff. Uh, Dougal McLean, I know from playing with when he used to play with John and Roy. Um, it's really amazing to find someone like him who's his, his mind and the way he approaches an instrument is more like a guitar player. And then we had Kiana who was um, just a, like an extremely grounded and um, just a, a really cool young lady, um, really talented. Uh, and then the ladies are, are Amy, Amy Connor Wallach. Um, he was recommended to me by uh, Mark Lavois, who played bass and Maurice, um, through work he'd done with her in a gospel choir, because she's also a vocal teacher. Um, Lindsay Bryan is also a peak, a peak performance project artist this year. Um, is just, she's probably one of my favorite new young Canadian female singer-songwriters. I've never really done anything like it. I'm I'm loving it. I wish we could do this every day. Every yeah, I, I, definitely. I think it's like uh, the first, um, I would say maybe the first couple hours, it was kind of like a feel-out process. Like, I don't think everybody knew each other as well, you know, as well. And, uh, um, but now, I mean, now we're, we're, I mean, we're basically writing a Jimmy Buffett song right now, so things are going well.
part, uh, you kind of have to, it's, it's harder to cover up your mistakes. You have to, uh, there's a little more pressure to get it right, but I think in order for it to work well, you got to let that go. I think overall, yeah, I think I prefer doing things this way. It's more challenging, but more rewarding. Place. We're just trying to finish the uh, last song that we decided was our third song today. We're trying to get a good take of it, and we started with the roads. One of the keys on the roads went out of tune, and I also almost sabotaged the whole big project by spilling beer on the uh, mixing console. Not very professional. Just trying to sabotage. So far, so good. Wow.
think just through this whole process, everyone just had such a good time, and I just feel like I love everyone so much more now, and it feels like we, you know, we went through something together, and I think we all really bonded, and we want to do it again next year. We want to make it an annual thing, or because just having all those really great people together in a room who are friends um, for two days and you're just spending time together but also making something together that we all love so much. We're making these little musical babies that we all feel like we're a part of and we're proud of. And it was really fun. We all enjoyed, we all enjoyed spending time with each other but I just I feel so much closer to all these people now. It's like, you know, going to, going to war with someone. We'll always be able to like. We'll always be able to have this moment and this weekend together. That was something we shared, which is pretty special. I might, if I win the hundred thousand in the in the peak performance project, I might just spend the money on paying to have the studio for two years and come yeah, here every day.